Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, this is Lakshman. In this video, I am going to talk about uh, one of the famous Java coding entry question that is uh, how to find whether the given number is Armstrong or not. So, this is one of the famous uh, technical entry questions. The interviewer will ask you how to write the logic to find uh, the given number is Armstrong or not. Okay. So, first of all, let me define what is a Armstrong number, which number we are calling Armstrong number. Okay. So, Armstrong number is a number that is equal to sum of cubes of its digits. Okay. Uh, this definition may be uh, typical to you. So, let me explain with example. So, uh, the examples for Armstrong numbers are 0, 1, 153, 370, These are all the Armstrong number. How can become these numbers are Armstrong? Suppose if you take 153 is the Armstrong number. So the definition, see the definition, it is equal to sum of cubes of its digits. That means you need to cube each digit and then sum all the cubed digits. So that means 1 into 1 into 1 and plus 5 into 5 into 5 plus 3 into 3 into 3. Now sum all these cubed values 1 plus 125 plus 3 cube means 27. Sum all these things how much? 153. It becomes a 153. So whatever you are giving input 153. So if you cubed each digit after cubing and sum, first you need to cube each digit and then sum. After you will get 153. Okay, the same number, the same number will get output. That is called Armstrong number. So these remaining numbers also Armstrong numbers only. Okay. So I hope you got it. The definition. The definition means the number that is equal to sum of cubes of its digits. First you need to cube each digits and then sum. Then we will get same out. Whatever giving input, the same output will come after uh, cubing and then sum. The result will come same input. Okay. So, let me uh, implement this Armstrong number to write a logic in the program. I am quickly opening my Eclipse ID. So, I have already uh, written code here. How to implement Armstrong number? So, I will explain step by step here. First, I'm taking class as a class name as a Armstrong demo, and then main method. Every Java program execution start from main method. Then I'm defining here variables, three variables here. Int sum equal to zero, a temp variable, and I'm immediately taking one scanner class. It is a predefined class. It is used to read input values from keyboard okay from keyboard okay and then i am taking one uh, system dot dot and printer to enter a number and then after and whenever you enter a number from keyboard that number will read by using next into method so the entire statement this statement uh, going to uh, what it does this statement whatever whenever we entered any number that number will stored into this number this number variable okay I am going to store that number in temporary variable because of uh, in the last statement whenever we are going to check the condition whether uh, the input number and after iterating, after completion of iterating, the final result is equal or not. So, for comparison purpose, I am taking one temporary variable, okay, and then I am going to iterating the loop here. So, I am using while loop number. Suppose if you take 153, if you are giving input from keyboard, whenever it asks me to enter a number from keyboard you entered here 153 that 153 is holding in this number variable okay 
now number means how much 153 153 greater than 0 okay and come to the body loop whenever the condition true it comes into the body so a equal to number modular 10 that means 153 modular 10 so the remainder is remainder is 3 that means that means a equal to 3 in the first iterate and then sum equal to sum plus a cube that means already sum I defined how much 0 I instead with a 0 okay sum equal sum plus sum plus a into a in, a into a that means here sum equal 0 plus a means how much already 3 okay 3 into 3 into 3 okay then how much sum equal to 27 now sum is sum is holding sum variable is holding 27 and then next number next statement number equal to number division 10 division 10 means coefficient here modular means which value remainder division means coefficient coefficient means 153 division 10 coefficient is coefficient is 15 okay now number holding how much number equal to 15 okay so again the loop will come to check the condition here now number means how much finally number equal to 15 15 greater than 0 the condition is true again come to comes into the body so now number modular 10 now number modular means number how much 15 modular 10 then remainder remainder is how much remainder is 5 okay now uh, a value becomes a value becomes 5 and then next line sum equal to sum plus a cube so sum how much already sum equal to sum plus a cube now already sum value how much already holding 27 plus a cube means 5 into 5 into 5 how much now 27 plus 125 okay now how much it is 125 plus 7 how much 252 okay now sum how much 252 okay just rem uh, remember that one sum value 252 now number the next statement here number equal to number division 10 how much number number means number how much 15 15 division 10 then the coefficient the coefficient is how much coefficient is 1 okay so now number holding 1 okay again the loop will come to here 1 greater than 0 the condition is true okay now the remainder is the remainder is become 1 modular 10 then the remainder is 0 okay now a value becomes how much 0 now sum sum how, how much already so uh, sorry uh, remainder becomes not 0 remainder is 1 okay now a value becomes 1 now sum sum value how much already sum sum plus a into a into a now see equal to sum how much already 252 
plus how much a value 1 now sum becomes sorry 2, not 252 152 so here also sorry not 52 here is 152 some value 152 okay uh, now some value how much finally equal to 50 uh, 153 okay sum is holding 153 now number number division 10 then what is the coefficient number number means how much 1 division 10 then the coefficient coefficient is 0 okay so now number becomes how much equal to 0 so now again loops come here number how much 0 0 greater than 0 the condition becomes false whenever the condition becomes false it comes out for the while loop and it comes to the the following statement here if condition it again checking here temp temp means how much so initially whatever you are giving input as a number that will store into temporary variable okay now we are going to check the condition the uh, temp means how much we are giving input how much we we give a 153 and sum finally the sum how much check the here sum how much 153 okay the condition is true whenever the condition true the following statement will execute so then given number is am strong so this is the process so this is the logic to implement a this is one of the logic to implement a Armstrong number okay so I hope you got it so I will check the uh, we will run the program you see output will come or not yes enter a number how it comes enter a number so whenever we are giving here system dot out and print and learn, then it will come here enter number so to give input from keyboard suppose i am giving here 153 so how it comes how to read the this value from keyboard which statement will be useful in this program the scanner class statement will be useful to read this input value from keyboard and then this method also okay so now enter so the given number is Armstrong. Okay, suppose I, I will give another number 143. So this given number is NAM, not Armstrong. Okay. So, so that's all about my side. I hope you got uh, how to implement this logic to find uh, the given number is Armstrong or not. So if you like our videos, so please subscribe for more uh, videos and share to your friends thank you for watching bye bye